Hey y'all, my name is Kurt. I'm here with Trenton. Welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. And today is Friday, the last Friday of the month. And you know what that means. Al allocated Friday? Or oh, the la no, the last on. video of Jack Daniels. Last video of Jack Daniels. Yeah. <sighs> I try to lead you in and you just... That's how just... I live life. I'm a bit of a <laughs> rebel from on my day-to-day -day operations, so that makes sense. Our last, our last video here of our Jack Daniels Distillery Review. We got four really neat bottles to go over here. Plus, tonight at 8 p.m. Central Time is our live stream where Trenton will be picking the bottles that Kent and I will be blind tasting. And I will be asking you some questions when we kind of get through with our tasting. In this video? Sure. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, it threw me off there a little bit, but yeah, yeah. Well, we ha we have the the single barrel barrel proof. We got this year's ten year. Mm -hmm. We got this year's twelve year. Yeah, and we got the Sinatra Select. Yeah. Tell me though. Sure. Where's the Koi Hill? Where's the single? Where's the American single malt? Where's well, the high rye? You know. Do you have a high rye? Or no, the sorry, the the, the rye, the okay. 2020 rye, oh, the barrel proof rye. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, that and the special release rye. I mean, we could do that. It's just. They're one time. They're one and done, yeah, right? That's I tough. mean, that's kind of the thing. And yeah. I don't know. I are these one and doneers? These are supposed to be annual releases. That's what I'm saying. This I, is batch what, two. Yeah. And I've heard that this is batch one. Yeah. But I also heard that they're going to be coming out with like, say, this is a 12 year. Mm. Next year will be either a 13 or a 14, oh, and they're wow. going to bump it up. Wow. So okay. That's just a rumor I heard. Don't All take right. that with a grain of salt. Well, as of now, too, the Sinatra bottle usually comes out pretty much every year. Certain does it? Certain amounts. Okay. So I've kind of eliminated some of the special ones. If you want to see that sometime, let us know. We did go over the Jack Daniels, the Barrel Proof Ride, not that long ago. You know, and we've done the American Single Malt and the other ones that you mentioned. But yeah. I tried to stick with those that I thought, you know, and I'm not real hip on Jack Daniels, but the the, the releases that I thought were, were coming out annually. I just had to put you on the spot. Well, of course. You know me. Yeah. yeah. You like to do that. Oh, yeah. By the way, I like your shirt, too. Thanks. I'm digging that. Yeah. That looks like you wore that in the sixth grade. I've been lifting weights quite a bit. <laughs> so you notice, like Monday, Monday's video, I, I was looking a little puny. So, something happened overnight. I got like, you know. You got large, huh? I got, I got swole. <laughs> yeah, I did. Well, so here's the thing. We have, we have the shirts uh, in the office. Yep. And sometimes on accident, I'll wear mine home and forget to bring it back. So small shirts were the only thing available, and I'm looking pretty cute. He was wearing it on the last video too, and it's like we're we're recording both of these in the same evening. I didn't say anything on purpose just to see what was going to be said in the comments and or Discord. Yeah. Well, so. <laughs> keep an eye out for next. Uh, what is it? This is coming out Friday. Next Monday, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this into a little crop top. Oh, we'll Lord be kicking it up here with whatever we're doing. So. Negative. Negative. No, I'll be back to my medium. All right, buddy. Let's 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 get to the business at hand. I know this is kind of weird, but I did it by price point. Let's start with this uh, uh, barrel proof, okay. the Jack Daniels uh, single barrel barrel proof. So this one here, Trenton. I think my bottle is 127.9 proof, and it's going to be closer to 70 bucks now. Yeah, they before it was like 60 or a touch over. Now it's going to be closer to that high 60s and possibly 70 dollars, depending on your area. But this one is a horse, man. This one's a horse. It did really well in the... Uh, horse? Yeah. It's a horse, dude. <laughs> it's... Okay. It's got plenty of power. All right? Okay. Oh. Horse, it's got plenty of power. Horse power. power. Okay. I see what you it's, mean. It did pretty well. Didn't it do pretty well in our in our Bourbon Madness tournament this year? Yeah. For me, personally? I, I believe so. Yeah. I mean, oh, the, even the aromas that are coming off right now are wonderful. They're oh, butterscotchy yeah. to me. I wonder what would happen if... Sweetness. I wonder what would happen if you like put candle wax in this and made a candle out of it. Like, is that how can you make a candle? No. Because this would smell delicious in the house. I can't stand Yankee candles and things uh -huh. like that. It just gives me a headache almost immediately. Yeah. But honey, you, got, you put this in a candle, I might be able to, maybe, might be able to take it. I, I, might. I might experiment with that. I love it. The no, because you know what? You're going to be burning alcohol. You're going to be burning a candle that has alcohol in it. Probably not a good idea. I'll try it though. I mean, packs, come on. That packs a punch though. I mean, it drinks every bit of that proof. I want you to know that. So the folks that 
even I'm, I have to swallow because my mouth is like juicy right now. <laughs> but it's <laughs> ew. It's ridiculous. But for those of you that do not like it is. I took that first sip and it was like whoosh. Juice city in my mouth. Yeah. Please never say that again. Oh, just that kid. What's wrong with him? Oh, man. Compared to what you say on this channel. I say good stuff. <laughs> Those of you that do not like the higher proof options, this drinks every bit of that 127 proof. It does. It does. It, it, am I right? It does. Did it make your mouth juicy? Or just mine? <laughs> no. No, not mine. <laughs> this is going to be on Jordan in his comments. Kurt Mouse gets juicy. <laughs> when he does the, what do you call that, timestamp thing? Yeah, timestamps. <laughs> The little chapters, yeah. I love those. I like this because on a lot of the single barrel barrel proofs that I've had, I get like a nice plummy note sort of thing, or like a fig, something yeah. something There's that's a little earthy but nice, sweet. It is beautiful. Creamy. I wouldn't say it's juicy. These are single barrels. <laughs> These are single barrels, and flavors will vary, but have you, have you ever had too many of these? that vary a lot. If you ever had any of these, you'd say, that one, that one wasn't a very good bottle. I have not. Uh-uh. No, I personally have I not. And other ones I've had. I've had that experience, but with Jack Daniels, for some reason, I, I, I truly have not had that where I thought, ooh, that one's just not a, just not good at all. I have in Rebel. That's when it comes to my mind, Rebel ooh, Tenure. Yeah, I've that's had a... yours was fantastic, and I got mine, I was like, eh. Yeah, it's it, it light and light and single day, barrel. not light and yeah. day, night and day yeah. on that one. Not really with this, so I love this stuff. I get a little it's bit great. of like a ginger breadiness in this one, mm. just a tad. Ginger's a great note, yeah. Trenton, honestly. I like that. Yeah. Really nice. Good. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. All right, I gotta get off that one. <laughs> got a little... <laughs> <coughs> I started talking... Frog, excuse me. <laughs> I started talking a little too quick. Let's get on this 10-year trend, and I'll tell you what, this, this, this is the first... I think I read... Somewhere this is the first age, you know, higher age whiskeys that were released by Jack Daniels in a hundred years. Like first, a long time. first age stated, yeah, yeah, in a while. An age stated in a long time. And uh, this is their 10 year option. And, you know, it says that it's about 70 bucks, but of course, that's going to be dependent on your area, depending on how honest your liquor store owners are that are selling it, so on and so forth. So it's going to be between 70 and 80 bucks. Let's just put it that way. It should be. It's 97 proof. Same mash bill, same mash for, bill. Remember, for yes, we talked we talked about that before too. Eighty percent corn, twelve yep. percent malted barley, and eight percent rye. Yeah, boy, that... love it, love it. I mean, the alcohol level isn't there as, as in the barrel proof, but the the aromas are intensified in yeah. this tenure. Yeah, there's no doubt about the that. proof's what ninety seven. This honestly has the the. Uh, beautiful nose of a higher proof like kind of mm. how that Mictors 10 of this year it was like 96 but it was like yeah. George T. Stag nose level mm. this is kind of like this but this is kind of like that just yeah. like an elevated proof point right kind of pruned almost like a pruny note on there juicy Date prune yeah Pru yeah prune. I love it I like it now I remember the batch one of the 10 year not being my favorite and I think we did say that when we reviewed these um we got the little media samples. Somehow you landed both. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna ask. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I landed he did. both of these two. He did. Magic. Look at that. Yeah, magic. I didn't even know about him until this video, <laughs> actually. I will tell you, my sip, my first sip, is a touch earthier than I expected it to be, uh, and from what I got on the nose, I'm gonna take another sip. Yeah, I get like I'm getting like a little bit of a. Like a dirty coffee note, mm -hmm. something like that. It's a little bit bitter. It's not. It's not like a raunchy or a, like a bad coffee or anything. Uh -huh. It's just. It's there and it has that earthiness of. Right. Very the, slightly bitter. Yeah. Very slight. Almost. Well, for me, it's. I would refer to it as tobaccoy. That for me is like a solid tobacco note, for me. I'm still getting some kind of a raisin or fig or something going on in there, but. The sweetness is kind of overpowered by that tobacco yeah. type note. It's still good. It's still pretty good, but it's definitely an earthy sip. Doesn't really live up to the sweetness that that I found in the aromas. 
Yeah, that's that's the only bummer. I don't remember exactly what we thought of this when we did the, the tasting. Do you? This kind of reminds me, Trenton, of a little bit more of an elevated um, version of the Bonded. Jack yes. Daniels Bonded. Yep, I can see that 100%. Because we talked about that on the last video, how that was pretty earthy. Mm -hmm. This is elevated. It definitely, definitely has age to it, so it has a little bit more complexity, a little bit more diversity in the taste profile, but it lends to a lot of those same earthy notes that we found in the Bonded bottle in my opinion. What I like about this one though is that kind of towards the tail end of the palate, instead of like the bonded where you got the the bitterness and like the like rough edges, mm -hmm. this is just like a like yeah. a nice grant you there. Balanced. It's almost like yeah. fruity. I think yeah. that raisin and stuff you were talking mm -hmm. about comes through there yeah. at the end which kind of makes it. Yeah. I really agree. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, decent. Really neat. All right, let's go to the 12 year Trenton now 80 to 90, I'm guessing. You know, price point? Yeah. What do you think? Probably. It's supposed to be, you know, depending on your area, of course, but these are going to vary all over the place, yeah. I would assume. But this one jumps up to 107 proof. Okay? Mm -hmm. 107 proof. 12 years state, age stated. Oh, dude. Now, I remember, I didn't have the Sorry. bottle. I remember the media sample that was sent out that we just love this one, so we'll see how it goes. Hmm. That's f f like a berry compote, something like that. Really sweet, car like caramel. -y. Yeah, you know what, like a, like a berry compote though, with adding like a brown sugar yeah. to the berries. With Not a like a white drizzly. fine sugar, like a brown sugar. Yeah. If this doesn't match up to the, the palate or the nose, I'm going to be sad. I, I haven't had any taste of these. I opened them up a while ago, but I haven't had any taste. That is really, really good, in my opinion. It's not super sweet. It is sweet. It opens up on your palate sweet, but it really goes through a lot of different, a lot of different roads in the complexity of that sip. And I'm getting all kinds That's of beautiful. figs and dates and raisins and a light syrupy note. Not maple syrup, eh? You think maple syrup a little bit? Maybe. My, if I had to give it a knock, my only knock would be mm. is that the mouthfeel is nice mm -hmm. and kind of oily, but it's like, as soon as you swallow it, it's just like the, there's no, there's not much of an af aftertaste with it. It's, and if there is, it's kind of more on the, like the earthy tobacco -y side like you were talking about. It's like a little bit drying on the, like on the front of my tongue right there. That's the only knock that I can give it. That the fruitiness and stuff is really nice mid palate. Yeah. I just wish that it lingered a little bit longer than it does. Yeah, and I I can agree with him on that. I, I was carried away at the beginning of what I'm getting on the front of the palate and the sweetness and the different notes there. There is a little bit of earthiness there too, with a little tiny bit of leather possibly or tobacco. Leather, but good. a lot of that a lot of that fig, raisin, date goodness there. But he is right. On the end of the palate, into the finish. It's a bit drying. Mm. It's a bit drying. Do you find that it's just kind of <clears throat> gone? I now that you said leather, I'm getting quite a bit of leather on mm -hmm. the back. It's mm -hmm. a little like a, a bitter leatheriness. Yeah, I just think the fruit. sweetness completely leaves you on the finish. Yeah. Okay. And it delves directly into that, you know, quintessential JD. Yeah, I mean profile. Yeah, I mean the age though, twelve years, same mash bill. Yeah. Heck, that's a good debut that, for the twelve year. If you're able to get that. For less than a hundred dollars, that's an excellent sip. It really I'd, is. I'd pay ten dollars per year for that. Yeah, point. that's good. Be good. Would I you? like that. Yeah, yeah I think it's great. really, really good. Well, let's taste this last one, Trent. This is the Sinatra. I know Select. nothing about this. I think it's ninety proof. Check that to make sure. Yep, ninety oh. proof. You got that for me because I did. Yeah. Well, look at me. <laughs> I don't even remember that. You did. I've been looking for it for a while, and I seen it three or four years ago, and I'm like, mm, mm, mm. But then I was like, man, I wish I had that, and, and Trenton brought it down. So it's it's going to be around $130, roughly. Yeah. Okay? 90 proof, we talked about that. Here's the difference. Here's what they do. They groove the barrels. 
they actually put grooves inside the new American Chardo barrel. So that it'll, so they say in their writing, it gives it layers of toasted oak flavor okay. in this bottle. So if you act, look at the actual pictures online, it's pretty cool. They groove, they put grooves right that's in cool. the staves of the barrel. That's neat. So that's what's different with this one. I'll tell you, man, that nose is pure banana. Yeah, pure banana bread. We talked in the last video about butter on my banana bread. I don't really sense that with this. No. <clears throat> but pure banana banana bread. It's just like you walk vanilla into a, vanilla. It's like you walked into a, like a bakery or something. Mm -hmm. Really mm -hmm. nice. It's not like super concentrated, but it's it's no. there. Yeah. I didn't vanilla, a beautiful vanilla note, like a like a um, an icing vanilla note. Yeah. And uh, ma. <laughs> she's passing on this one, but. Wow. Mm. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, I would have thought that this would kind of just been more of like a marketing product. They're gonna they're gonna put Sinatra's name on it, they're gonna you know, they're gonna toss the next couple wow. extra proof points, add a like a barrel gimmicky thing to it and just call it a day and push the Well that's on a it. tough one because the proof, ninety proof, but it also in the sip the, the nose kinda kinda relates to the palate in my opinion, but it also on the palate, I'm getting a bit of smokiness. Maybe it's from grooving the barrel. Maybe it's that layering of toasted oak they refer to in their writing. Do you know if when they groove it, it is pre or post char when they groove it? According to the pictures that I saw online, it was post. Okay. Now that's according to the pictures that I saw online. Interesting. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, as always, but that's what I saw in the pictures. Mm. All right. You want my honest thoughts? Bring it. This would be a really solid $50 bottle from, from Jack Daniels. I think if they tossed it down to like a 700, now they're doing a lot of 700 ml stuff. Mm -hmm. If they took away that fancy box and just brought it down to the 700 and, you know, took Sinatra's name off it. I don't know. I don't think it's, yeah, one liter. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's remotely close to the $130 bottle that it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm assuming that the price in, in what it's being listed for, whatever has to do with Sinatra's name being on it, the packaging, the extra, the one liter bottle and all that kind okay. of stuff. Okay. All right. Solid $50 bottle, $60 bottle. Okay. I like the flavors in it. I think it's good. I think like the there's a little bit of a toastiness in there, like you said, yeah. a little smokiness. I don't definitely. know what that's about. It's definitely that banana stuff too. I, I disagree just a touch. Okay. But only a little. If especially if you're a Jack Daniels fan. If you're a Jack Daniels fan, I think 130, 150, and somewhere on sometimes a line I saw even closer to 180. Oh, that, that's a big stretch. But if you can get it for a hundred and a quarter, I think $80, 90 dollars is, is a really good buy for this. To have one in your in your bar or at your house for hundred and a quarter, if you're a Jack Daniels fan, I think is a buy. It adds a lot more to it. I, I like I like the sip. Yeah. You know, considering that it is Jack Daniels, but it adds some smokiness, some depth to that oak. It is very smooth too. It's a good sipper. It's ninety proof. It's got some good sweetness in there too. All right. If you have to have if you have to ask my honest opinion, okay, one hundred thirty is is a stretch. Yeah. But I think it's $80, $90 where you're saying $50, $60. My only, and the only reason I say that is because you can get, like, I think the tri the triple mash, in my opinion, is better than this. Wow. I'll, I'll just say that. Well, I don't know about you that. You can get that for $35, and you're yeah. bumping down 10 proof points. Why Why is this that much? Because it's... Just for the extra Because news. it's Frank Sinatra. But, Frank so, Sinatra. So? You don't even know who Frank Sinatra is. Well, I, sort of. I, I haven't listened to any of his stuff, but <laughs> I, I don't. I don't understand the price point justification. Is is, yeah. is my only thing. The sip is nice. Mm -hmm. The price is not so nice. All right. Well, let's bring this to a close, buddy. I'm gonna let you go first and give me your first to last. Let's see what your ranking is here. Oof. I would have to go the 12 year first. Oh wow. Okay. This second. All right. Third. Fourth. Yeah. 
I, you know, I have to, I have to mimic him. I can't, I can't argue, I can't argue any of that. All right. And I will say though that these, all these four bottles, I was very pleased with. Yeah. It was a very nice tasting on the bar tonight. I have to say that I'm not disappointed with any of them, but. Your ranking holds pretty true to me as well. Okay, interesting. So then I also have to ask you, what are you thinking then for tonight's live stream? What is your thoughts on the bottles that you're going to give Kit and I to blind taste? Do... <laughs> if I... It, let's just say, if I have a Jack Daniels product that it wasn't listed in these last two videos, can I put it in? Hey, let's let the people make that choice. Put it in the comments for us. All right. Put it in the comments. It, Kent and I won't know anything. Trenton's in charge of whatever whatever Jack Daniels we're going to be tasting tonight. So let him know. Yeah, we'll see. I have maybe one or two Jack products that weren't listed in here that would be interesting to see kind of go uh, head to head. It's not, I will say, it's not Koi Hill. It's not a rye. It's not any of their special releases. Okay. So oh, wow. Let me know in the comments if I should put one of those in there. <laughs> You're welcome. It ought to be an experience. And as always, our, our live streams are nothing but a lot of fun. So if you have time, check us out tonight, 8 p.m. Central Time. All right, that's all we got for you today. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. See you next time right down here with Trent and I in the good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.